Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Are you ready? Please wait. Hey there, welcome to my, uh, I don't know, I guess a little OBS layout showcase thing. A lot of people ask about this and how it works and what all it can do. So I thought I'd give you a quick, you know, look at the thing. Um, right off the bat, there was a lot of stuff happening before I started talking. We had the gate that opened with the countdown. I can open and close that manually with a couple hotkeys. Um, all of the art assets coming swooshing in, that's another hotkey. And when I switch to this scene with another hotkey, all of them all swoosh out automatically too. So lots of hotkeys in this uh, these uh, scenes. <laughs> um, on this scene here, there's already a couple neat things kind of tucked away. We got this little now playing thing at the bottom left. Um, I've got a button that can just like throw that away when music's not happening and uh, bring it back out when it is. Real handy. I've also got uh, a little special guest icon thing. I guess bring this up. Ladies and gentlemen! Yeah, just something fun when I got some, uh, you know, a friend on or something like that. And uh, both the now playing and special guest are persistent. So if I switch to the next scene, which is the game scene. Eagle! Yeah, they're still there. Um, and I can get rid of them anytime I want, and that will persist as well. So let's just get rid of them here because we don't need them for the rest of this, or we shouldn't anyways. Um, all right, from here, uh, we can activate the live split display with another hotkey right here. So if I ever want to do some speedrun stuff, no problem, just push delete, bring it out, push delete, and it goes back again. Or at least delete on this wireless numpad thing. Um, after this, the next most used one, most well, slowly becoming most used one, is the work layout. Let's make together! I like to think it's self explanatory. It's a work layout. Um, once again, we have the now playing thing that we can bring in and get rid of whenever we want. There it is. Just had it disabled there and had to re enable it. Sorry about that. This happens sometimes. There are a lot of sources and layers and to deal with. Things get lost. <laughs> so let's just tuck that away. Um, a new feature or newish feature for this here is this cool be right back screen. And just yeah, just like that. All this cool rainbow stuff is actually a uh, display capture. So you can see I can put my mouse on top and it actually affects what's going on there. So I'm creating that cool Hall of Mirrors rainbow thing with a display capture with some hue and contrast values tweaked around. I can even just flip this back and show you exactly what it is that it's doing. And it's a, quite a thing. So you can see here we're, bla we're doing a little blend, color correction. Uh, shader to rotate it, some blur, sharpen after the blur to kind of like spice up the edges a bit. And then uh, we're doing a little pulse kind of in and out here to make things a little more exciting. Let's, uh, let's actually make it even more exciting. There we go. Nice. So now I can just put that back and that, that, that is indeed pretty visually exciting. <laughs> Alright, I had to kick off the Winamp Visualizer here for the next layout, which is this one right here. Let's enjoy music together! So this is a general just like chat layout. We've got our chat over there, styled after the old AIM chat client. We've got a cool little display of milk drop, the Winamp Visualizer, and some nice little Winamp windows over here. So, all pretty cool. Um, worth mentioning probably at this time that there are a number of things going on uh, that you haven't really been able to see yet um, if only because uh, there's nobody online to actually uh, make them happen right now so what I'm gonna do is I'll just drop some emotes into this and hey there they go 
but that's just stream elements. It's an online thing where you can configure some, uh, some fun little, you know, uh, emote things and fun stuff to happen when uh, people, you know, follow and whatnot like this. Yo, man. That's one of the rare drops. <laughs> but there, there are a number of these, and they show up randomly. Yeah, you get the idea. All right, so moving on. Um, there are a few other scenes here that don't get quite as much use, and uh, I'll show you those now. So the first one, we have to hop back to the main scene for. Here you go! So it's going to be a little hard to tell when it's just, you know, um, a black screen here, but believe me when I say this does look pretty cool when it's actually displaying a game. Let me hide the now playing. So if you switch to this one for vertical display games like uh, STGs and whatnot. Pretty neat. Or I think it's pretty neat. Here you go. Uh, another one pretty infrequently used is the uh, Metroid Minus One intro and gameplay overlay. Um, this is for a, a very interesting Super Metroid hack. Uh, that's the best way to put it, really. As always, everything you saw there was handled in OBS. It's not just a video file. It's just overlaying of to tons and tons of like uh, looping stock footage and GIFs and scrolling layers, all sorts of fun stuff. I've also got the uh, step chart writing introduction I use. I'm going to like stream some step chart authoring, which is this cool one here. And once again, all in OBS, including that shine across the text, which will actually adapt to any image you put in there, because it's a mask. It's a GIF mask of just a shine going across, and it'll fit onto any any PNG you throw at it. So, pretty uh, versatile. I could technically change this into anything I wanted. Um, one I don't really use at all is the 3DS layout, which is this one here. So this one's a little, uh, a little over the top, I suppose. Um, as you can see, we have the Wonder Swan over there displaying chat, and on the left we have this little 2DS here that I've styled up to kind of, you know, suit the suit the stream and what have you. But I just boot up KitKat, which is the network viewer I use and hit connect, and it'll do its thing. A little slowly, but it'll do its thing. And there it is. You can see I've also made a custom uh, 3DS theme to, you know, suit the stream layout. I think it's a pretty fun touch. Um, just wanted to go the extra mile with that one. Are you ready? Please wait. All right. So, um, a lot of people have asked during the streams how, like, oh, how, how a lot of this is happening, and um, a number of different ways. The primary one being I'm u I'm using Motion Filter, which is a fantastic plugin that lets you move sources around with hotkeys and on scene transitions and all sorts of cool stuff. Beyond that, it is just a lot of sources with a lot of filters. I think maybe the best example would be the thing at the top right there, that little like logo. That's amazingly not like a not like a GIF or something. And uh, here it is. I'll show you how this works, and maybe this will inspire you to play around with OBS's filters a little bit. Let me turn all these off. All right, so here's the base layer. It is like this weird, glitchy... It's just a bunch of like arcade test patterns cycling through the image slideshow pretty quickly. Um, 
Then I'm applying a scroll, which you can barely even see over there, but it's one pixel wide and still it's regular height, so I'm just like cutting it all the way off. After that, I scale it to 1 by 96, so now it's 96 pixels tall. You can't even see it anymore because it's tucked behind everything. I'm going to color correct it, which is going to make it like a uh, grayscale. We're going to give it a, a like a blended uh, red gradient overlay. We're going to color correct that to make it really bright, just a searing kind of tech orange color. Now we're going to scale it out using the point scaling. So this is just one pixel stretched all the way across. Well, I mean, 96 pixels, but those are stacked vertically, stretched across the 468. And over here, we do a little blend, a mask, and yeah, that's just the logo. It's as simple as it gets, just the logo on black. That's all you need. So again, that's all just in OBS, no GIF, no anything. It's terrifically uh, inefficient as far as resources are concerned, but uh, that's just the way I do things, I suppose. That's, that's the way this entire stream is built, <laughs> inefficiently. I mean, you can see, look, it's even happening on the text at the top there, all these crazy blend effects. <laughs> um, I like to consider it kind of the, the demo scene of stream layouts. Um, it is over the top, and there's no reason to do it except for the fact that you can, and it's cool. You know, the amount of tweakability, you know, that you have in a situation like this where you aren't dealing with just a bunch of video files or GIFs slammed together, you know, that granular control is really, really nice, and it lets you do all sorts of things on the fly. It just, uh, I mean, you can probably see here we're stuttering a little bit. I've got some other stuff running and processing in the background, so it, it does that sometimes. But, uh, that is the gist of it. And, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, just about everything. As far as I can tell. Oh no, except for the chill stream stuff. I totally forgot. I mean, can you blame me? I, I've only used it once. So, really simple, like, splash screen here, just a little pulsing text, and some scrolling text for the song title. And then we've got this. So, I've got a chat, nice, big, and then we've got this thing in the middle. I just hit this button here, and we're in business. Simple as that. Basic. 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 It's more or less modeled after the work layout, just a little less exciting, because, you know... Let's make together! Pretty intense, sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh... That's it. I can't think Are of anything else at all. Please wait. Which means you get to see the closing. So to do that, we switch back to the loading gate, and hit gate close before fading to black, and switching to the credits scene. <laughs> Thanks for playing. See you again.